Hi, welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create this poster in Canva really easily. So go to the home page of Canva. Canva is free, all you need is an email address and you can design all of this for free without using any of the pro designs or pro assets. So go up to create design and go down to poster. If you can't see it, just use the search engine and just type in poster. If you want to ensure it's A4, just type in A4 and then go to A4 portrait. To produce the graphics in the center, we're going to go over to elements and at the top here, if you search in blob, press enter, go down to frames and click see all. Now frames are a placeholder. So wherever I put this in my document, I can insert an image into it and it will just hold that image in the shape of this asset or this blob. So I'll explain how that works. So you can select from any of these. So I think I chose this one here to so just click on it. I think I chose this one as well. So I'm just gonna rotate this one round and then just move it. And with this one, just click on it. I'm going to resize it, rotate it. And then this one, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, move it up to here. And then I'm going to copy this one or make another copy of this. So select it, go to this icon that says duplicate and then I'm going to rotate this one round and put this one at the bottom. Now you can see these frames are on the top of this big one and I want this one to be on top or at the front. So select it, go to position and over on a range here, go to to front and it will move it to the front. So I'm just going to make this a bit bigger. I'm just going to move this one down. Now we want to put some images or some gradients inside these frames. So if we go back over to elements and we click at the top here and we search for gradient, just type it in at the top, go to photos and click see all. Obviously everything with a crown on it is the pro version, but there's plenty to choose from, from the free version. So I'm going to select this one here and I'm going to drag it over, click and drag it. And then I'm going to put it over the top of my frame and you can see it's been inserted. Now if I want to move this image slightly, double click and now you can see that I can move the image, I can enlarge the image so that then I can move it to the farthest corner to just utilize these colors or I can move it over to these corners to utilize those colors. So I'll just move it to here, perfect. Then again, I'm gonna click and drag it over to this one, there we go. Just double click on that because I'm just going to want to move that image that way. And then once again, over to this frame at the bottom, double click and then move it again. Now, if you don't like this image, all you need to do is select your frame, go to the three dots and select detach image. So if you click on detach image, you can see the image is free and the frame is clear again. And that's how you can change the image that you want to use. So I'm just gonna double click on that again and move it. The next thing are some titles, so go to text. I'm gonna click add heading. And then in here, I'm gonna type my heading. And then I'm just going to customize this text. So you can see that my cursor is just flashing inside this box. So if I try and change anything in here, it won't change it. You've either got to select all of the text or deselect the box with the text in, reselect it without your cursor going inside. You have to double click to get your cursor to go inside the box. Then you can go up and go to text color, change it to white. Go to alignment, I want everything over to the left. Just keep clicking until it's aligned to where you want. If I just keep clicking through, you can see it moves. So just click over to the left. And then here, you can change the spacing of your text. So you can change the letter spacing if you want to, and you can also change the line spacing. So I'm just gonna move the text closer together. Right there, perfect. And then I'm just gonna increase the size of that text a little bit by using the plus icon up here. And then I'm just going to move that box to about there. Then I'm going to create a box to go around the text. So go back to elements, 
and go to shapes and click on this square and then whilst this square is selected go to border style and I'm going to change the border weight to about 15 and then select border color and go to white then go to the internal color here and change that to no color and then because it's a square already if I hold down the shift key it will remain a square and won't change the ratio to a rectangle so we want to center this text so if you select it or the box outside you can see as I move it around we've got these little pink lines and that will tell you that you've lined up that text to the box perfectly so we can now create a group when you need to move this white borderline and the text together it will be grouped to select both the text and the borderline to group them together select the outside border hold down your command or control key and click on the text you can see they're both selected but group hasn't come up in this menu so then carefully hover over the outside border hold down the shift key and click and then group will appear at the top here and select group. Now you can move this round as one asset. So if I'm happy with all of my assets, I can move these around to where I want them. You can make final adjustments at the end, but this is the time to really hone in those assets because we're gonna group everything together because it just makes it a lot easier. So if you're happy where everything is, just select it all and go to group. And this will allow us now to move this anywhere we like in our poster. So now's the time to put the background in to allow us to put in the white graphics around this graphic design in the middle. Go to elements and go down to shapes and click on the square and then pull this across your document. Just click and drag it out. Go to this color icon and then select any color. I'm gonna go for dark gray, then go to position and then select two back and it will take it to the back of those graphics. Then I'm going to go back to text and then add a body of text. I'm going to pull that down to the bottom. You can use this little cross here to move each of these boxes around. Now all you need to do is double click inside and add your text. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to copy in some text. So you can see this text is too big. All you have to do is select the corners of the text box and then just move it. So what I'm going to do is reduce the size of the text by using the corners and then using the edges here. And then I'm just going to use this alignment tool because I don't want it to be centered. I want it to be a square so it's justified. So you can see now I've got more of a square box of text at the bottom. And to make sure that's perfectly centered, you can go to position and click center and it will center that perfectly. So now for some more graphics, I'm going to go to elements. So at the top here, I'm going to type in dots. I'm going to go to graphics and click see all. And then I've got a large range to choose from. Again, the crowns are pro version ones. So I'm just going to select this free one here. And then you can see it's appeared here, but in black, I want it white. So I'm going to go to color and select white and then move that and reduce the size of it. Then I'm going to copy it or duplicate it, move one down to the bottom here. And then finally, maybe duplicate this once more. And then I can move it anywhere I want. And this one, I want to go back behind this graphic. So I'm going to go to position. I'm going to click go to back. You see, it's disappeared behind the gray background, but then click forward. So it's behind this graphic, but in front of the background. And then maybe one more. I'm going to pop up here. And then again, backwards and then bring to, oh go to the back and bring forward. There we go. And you can adjust the size of these as well. Then we're going to go back to elements. Just click on the search bar up here, select dots again, go to graphics. And we're going to select this line of dots here. Again, they're black. So go to black up here, the color icon and select white. We're going to move these to the top. I'm going to try and line them up with the top of this graphic, duplicate them, rotate them and then rotate them to 90 degrees. And again, move these anywhere you want to. I'm gonna move them down here. I'm just gonna select ungroup 
and then select this asset here if I can. I'm not sure I can, there we go. Okay, and now I'm going to select at the top here, stars. I'm just going to scroll down and I'm gonna select this one here and then reduce the size of it. I'm going to duplicate it, put one up here, duplicate it again, one down here. And then I'm going to scroll back up to the top and I'm going to select this group of dots or stars. And then for this one, I'm just going to cover my poster in these. Just keep duplicating and rotating them. So obviously any of these assets can be moved and adjusted if you don't like the look of them. You can use your arrow keys as well to make some fine adjustments. So once you're finished and you're happy with your design, you can go up to share, you can go to download, and then you can either download this as a PNG or you can download it as a JPEG or of course a PDF. Once you've selected your file, simply click download and you can see here it's downloading for you and you'll find it in your downloads file. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.